What's up, Redwood? I'm Sophie. I'm Ned. And this is Redwood, Redwood TV. TV. The Make-A-Wish Club is having a dine and donate fundraiser at Paxi's Pizza on December 7th. Stop by for some great pizza and to help donate to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Leadership interview times will be posted outside of room 107. If you applied, go and make sure you check out what time you will be interviewing. If you have any conflicts or concerns, please contact Ms. DeAndres or Mr. Plesha. And now, Ned will be delivering the tote bags that you've collected in your advisory. Project Night Night is an organization that's dedicated to helping homeless kids feel safe and secure and ready to learn and valued. And we do this by distributing about 35,000 Night Night packages every year. When you assemble Night Night packages or when you raise funds for us, it allows us to help kids that stay on our waiting list. There was one little boy that we served at a shelter and I gave him his Night Night package and he took it apart and in it was a blanket that had a plastic hanger on it and it had his price tag. And he asked me if it was new. And I assured him it was. And I said, look, you can see there's a hanger, there's a price tag, it's new. He thought about it for a little while and tucked it under his arm and off he went. And a few days later, the shelter director saw him again. And she saw that he was carrying his uh, blanket that way. And she saw it still had the tags and the hanger. And she offered to take them off. And he looked at her and he said, no, you can't take them off because if you do, my blanket won't be new anymore and I've never had anything new. Your packages that you completed and fully assembled, they're going to serve Catholic Charities, Tenderloin Children's Center, uh, La Casa de las Madres, the um, Children's Council of San Francisco, and Homeless Prenatal. So it will really be a tremendous help to us at the holidays. By Monday, they will be held by children and that will help comfort them at night. So I just really want to thank Redwood High School for all that you've done for us, for helping us with almost 100 kids, getting them off our waiting list. It's really tremendous. I saw that an enormous bucket of coins and money has come in, and that's going to be a joy for us to count to see how many more kids we can help. If you want to do anything else, please visit our website, which is projectnightnight.org. Happy holidays, and thank you very much. Thanks to everyone who donated to Project Night Night in their advisory. If you are interested in being an MC, your opportunity is this Wednesday, December 7th in the Big Gym. These are auditions for the end of the year rally and the winter rally. Please contact Ms. DeAndres or Mr. Plesha if you have any questions. Join the rest of Redwood students celebrating the arts by going to room 501 on December 7th at 6.30 for their fundraiser. And now, an announcement from the Cove School. Hello, we are Henry Barnes, Jack Anderson, Jack Costonge, and Hayden Donhauer, fourth graders from Cove School. We want to help raise money for the individuals and families who had houses damaged or even destroyed by Hurricane Matthew. We have put out a donation box in the office at the Cove School, and we put out a donation box at the main office at Redwood. This will help us raise money for the people and individuals who have not only been affected by the recent Hurricane Matthew, but by other natural disasters as well. Our goal is to get over $2,000 and we already have 1205 After we reach our goal, we plan to send the money to Red Cross who will send it to places that need help the most. They will use some of the money for education and other daily necessities. We we are also going to have a bake sale and a lemonade stand as other ways to help raise money. We put this team together because the recent Hurricane Matthew left houses destroyed and people injured. And we thought this would be a good way to put it forward to their community. Thank you for your time and attention in supporting our team. We cannot do it alone. Today we're doing a recap of our fall sports season. First, we'd like to congratulate Redwood's JV sailing team for winning first place in the Silver Fleet down in Newport Beach. Next, we'd like to congratulate our Redwood Cross Country team for making first in MCALS and having two runners qualify for nationals. 
We'd also like to congratulate Girls Field Hockey for their second amazing season. And to our Redwood football team for making it as far as they did in Evan College, and Nick Casaretta for being the best offensive MCAL player. We'd also like to congratulate Girls Golf for another fabulous season and especially to Grace Garcia for making MCAL Player of the Year. And to Girls Tennis for their 14-2 and two league record. We'd also like to congratulate Girls Volleyball who had four players nominated for MCAL League Player. And to Girls Water Polo for an all-league player, Jacqueline Raich and Caitlin Donnelly. We'd also like to lastly congratulate Boys Water Polo for a league record of 12 and 3. This has been your recap of fall sports. Thanks and bye bye. Hey Redwood, if you're feeling like this guy about finals, you might want to pay attention. We've got a crash course in surviving finals for you right now. Try to start studying at least one week before your first final. And remember, find a secluded work environment. It's key to your focus. Don't get tears on your tests. It really ruins people's days, especially teachers. Make sure you've got a study group that can keep you on task. Have you seen the new Stranger Things? Yes. If you're taking your finals, there's a chance your brain's still developing. And that means that you need a nutritious meal with protein to get you through the day. This is a really good book. A clean workspace is a major key for a healthy mind during finals. With these pro tips, you'll be a stellar final taker. What's up, Redwood Giants? It's John Van Leer bringing to you this week's weather. This week, there's going to be lots of uh, degrees. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. This week is going to be between 60 degrees and 65 degrees. 60 degrees, kind of like this sushi, that's also 60 degrees. There's going to be a wind chill of around negative 5 degrees, and there's going to be some scattered clouds. Hi, I'll have one frozen yogurt, please. That'll be uh, $27. On Tuesday, it's going to be between 60 degrees and 70 degrees. If it gets up towards 70 degrees, that's a lot of degrees, and therefore you may be pretty warm. That's a lot of degrees. If you are warm, you may want to enjoy a nice cool treat, such as a frozen yogurt. On Wednesday, it's going to be pretty warm. There will be a lot of degrees. In fact, there will be so many degrees that you'll probably want to enjoy a frozen treat, such as this frozen creamed spinach. On Thursday, it's going to be pretty cold. In fact, there's going to be very few degrees. There will be so few degrees, in fact, that you may want to enjoy a nice warm beverage, such as this one that has many more degrees than the temperature outside. On Friday, I'm not really sure about degrees, but in terms of sunlight, there's gonna be lots of that. There'll be sun 360 degrees around you at all times. I'm here in the hot food section where the food is kept at around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of like Saturday. Saturday is going to be around 80, 80 degrees Fahrenheit as well. Between actually 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be a great week and I hope all you Giants stay safe and have a great time. Thanks guys. Senior superlatives are due this Wednesday, December 7th. So if you are a senior, please go to the Redwood website and under Announcements tab, click the link and vote for your fellow classmates for categories like Class Mom and Dad or Most Marin. Are you interested in getting your family some spirit gear for the holidays? Well, you can do that by stopping by the Mosaic stage on the first and third Friday of this month. Freshman elections are happening this week. Polls close tomorrow at 4 p.m. Please check in with your homeroom rep for more information about who is running. As always, I'm Ned. And I'm Sophie. And this is Redwood, Redwood TV. TV.